guys welcome back to your own youtube channel tech techno where we bring you quality tech content and make your life tech delicious so guys we have come up with one more new video where we will be talking more about hacktober fest the most awaited fest so guys before we start this video please subscribe to our channel like this video and share it with your friends so that they also do not miss any updates from our channel also if you prefer to see any particular video on a channel do not forget to mention in the comment section so without further ado let me tell you more about hacktober fest Talking about Hacktoberfest, Fest, it is a month-long virtual festival event to celebrate open source contributions presented by Digital Ocean, Intel and Dev. So it is the easiest way to get into open source. So before we start this video, please subscribe to our channel, like this video and share it with your friends. So once you reach this website, the link to which will be providing to you in the description box, you will see that you are on the Hacktoberfest Fest 2021 page so during this entire month of october 2021 all you have to do is contribute to any open source project titled under hacktober fest and open at least four pull requests yes any project and any kind of contributions you don't need to be an expert in programming or coding it can be a bug fix improvement or even a documentation change and win an awesome t-shirt and awesome stickers so you can see that here are some notes from uh, the CEO talking about more about Hacktober Fest. So what is this all about? You have to give to open source. Open source projects keep the internet humming, but they can't do it without the resources. So you can donate support their awesome work. You can also choose to take plant trees rather than taking teas, t-shirts as swags. So you can choose to have a tree planted in your name and help make Hacktober Fest more carbon neutral. So why should you contribute? But it's not just about the t-shirts or sticker. It's also about supporting open source. It's about celebrating open source and giving it back. If you have never contributed to open source before, this is the perfect time to get started because Hacktober Fest provides a large list of available contribution opportunities. And yes, there are always plenty for beginners too. So what can you contribute? So Hacktober Fest is open to everyone in the global community. Whether you are a developer, student, learning to code, even host or company of any size, you can help drive growth of open source and make positive contributions to an ever-growing community. All backgrounds and skill levels are encouraged to complete this challenge. It doesn't need to be code, it can be even documentation or even a spelling fix. So you can uh, contribute to any open source project hosted on github.com and contribute anything between October 1st to October 31st midnight in 2021. So how does it work? So maintainers determine if their open source projects participate. So there would be a lot of projects that would be participating in the October Fest. Then you have to submit quality pull requests that you have to submit through GitHub and GitLab, which will be rewarded. So engaged maintenance of Hacktober Fest tag repositories are rewarded. So you will be basically judged on whatever pull request you submit. So first you need to get yourself registered for Hacktober Fest and then you can search for the available issues for Hacktober Fest on the links and start fixing those and contributing. Or even if you are a newbie, then you can also create your full post request in few minutes by watching this video. So there are certain rules that you have to follow. First is that pull requests can be made in any participating GitHub or GitLab hosted repository or project. So you have to look for Hacktober's topic to know if a project is participating in Hacktober Fest or not. You can sign up anytime between October 1st and October 13th. Just to be sure, you sign up on an official Hacktober's website for your pull request to come. There are other details as well that your comments should be made by yourself. Also, the maintainer reports your pull request as stands. It will be counted reward to your participant in Hacktober. So you need to be make sure that you make ethical pull request during your participation. Also, pull request is considered approved once it has overall approving review from maintainers or has been merged by maintainer or has been given the Hacktober first accepted label. So make sure that you get four pull requests before October 31st to get your bees and swags at your home delivered. Okay, so moving ahead, 
If you are liking this video, please subscribe to our channel, like this video and share it with your friends so that they can also enjoy this video and subscribe to our channel. So talking about more global events, you can see what all hosted uh, Digital Ocean will be hosting during this period. So there's an off official Hacktoberfest kickoff on October 1st, followed by October 4 and then October 7. So guys, if you want any particular video on our channel, please do let us know in the comment section. Also do let us know what would you prefer as a gift from Hacktoberfest, a t-shirt or would you be like to be more carbon neutral and choose to plant a tree on your name. Moving ahead, you can see premium partners that are Deep uh, Intel, Deep Source and Digital Ocean. So you can uh, see in all details that are here and all the community partners that are performing in this uh, Hacktoberfest. So when you scroll up, you can click on start hacking to see how you can participate. So once you click on start hacking, you will be redirected to this page where you'll be on step one of through one of three. So you have to sign up with GitLab or GitHub. So I will be choosing GitHub. So I'll click on sign up with GitHub. So once I click on sign up with GitHub, it will redirect me to a third authorization page where they will ask me whether I want to allow, let them allow access to my profile or not. So once you click on this, you can see that I have been redirected to this website. So this might take a few minutes and you need to authorize Hacktoberfest for this. So once done, you will be redirected to authorize application and you will be redirected to the step two of this process. In this, you need to select which email address you'd like to use for Hacktoberfest and read the rules and values. So you can select your email address and the location. The location will be the country that you reside in. So you can, I am choosing India, you can choose whatever you want to. So you can choose whether you are a participant, maintainer or an event organization. So if you want to opt for receiving updates, you can check in and click on read and understand rules and redirect to the step three of three. So your profile has been created if you acknowledge and start on uh, click on start hacking. So I have done this. So your profile is now created and you can see how you have to make pull request. So you can see that I have completed zero for now. So you can complete yourself four pull requests and you'll get your t-shirt. So guys, if you like this video, please subscribe to our channel, like this video and share it with your friends so that they can also have benefit of this video.